The Object Show community is quite a big community, with millions of people being, or at least seeing, a member or fan of BFDI on the internet somewhere. BFDI, or Battle for Dream Island of course, has inspired thousands of other people to make an object show themselves. But not all of these gain immortality. Some shows can be deleted by their creator, either early on, or years after its first initial posting on the web, making these lost media, if not archived. I have already talked about 20 of these cases in a previous video of mine, and this is part 2 of this series. Also, if you haven't seen the first part, I recommend watching it after you've finished with this one. So without further ado, here are 20 more cases of Object Show Lost Media. Inanimate Objects was a series made by Shattered Waters beginning in 2014 and ending in 2016 on the 25th episode of its third season. It completely amazes me how Vince got so many episodes out in just a two-year period. However, in 2019, or was it 2020? Anyway, something surprising will happen. Vince's channel switched to his old style from 2016 and the long-awaited io3 episode 26 would be released. I'm assuming this rebrand was only to release this. Anyways, Vince would shortly revert back the changes, and when his old channel was abandoned and soon terminated, the episode was gone, and he didn't even archive it on his new channel. There's very little content that has survived. We only have these screenshots I was sent on Discord, the thumbnail of the episode, and a short clip re-uploaded by Blue Frame Master. There is nothing else left, and it's unknown if the episode in its entirety will ever resurface. Snack Time was made by Dylan Andrews or Dylan Multi Production sometime around 2013. Now unlike a lot of object shows, Snack Time was not really a competition show, but rather just a sitcom, or something like that. It also had a bunch of profanity, and other inappropriate content apparently. This show was clearly meant for an older audience. There were three spin-offs planned for Snack Time, like Blue Motion's Origin, the Snack Time movie and Shape Time. All of the content regarding the show has since been taken down, even if there wasn't much. There was only one episode made, which has been revived by Donkin7876. The only other footage that has resurfaced is a trailer for the Snack Time movie, found in the first Object Con livestream in 2013. That's all there is for now. This is one of the weirder cases that I will cover today. Terror Island was one of the first object shows it seems like, being made in possibly October 2011. But we don't know who made this thing. I found this show when going through a playlist containing the remaining bits of lost object shows. It only had two audition videos of Terror Island at the time I saw it, but when I released part one of Object Show Lost Media, user Diaga Catano 1 sent me a playlist of more media from this object show, which is also just auditions. There is literally no other media that has resurfaced, let alone episodes. Tile is cool as a user whose best known creations include a compilation video of object show deaths, which has over 6 million views at the time I'm writing this, as well as his object show, Objects at Sea. But sometime during mid 2023, for unknown reasons, Tile would private most of the videos on his channel. And while the death compilation is still on his channel, and is one of the eight remaining videos of his to do so, the rest of his videos, including his object shows were deleted. There were three object shows that he made apparently. The first and the most well-known one, Objects at Sea was re-uploaded by the Object Show Archive, then it would be deleted. And re-uploaded again by a different user. The second is the less known one, Fight, of the Objects. This show is only partially found with only the intro and prologue episode being found, the two proper episodes that came out of it are still yet to resurface, and apparently, there's also a third show he made named 66 Stories. There is basically nothing that's still online regarding this show, and I only know about it because of this comment that I got on the first part. I personally don't think anything from this is resurfacing anytime soon. Fusion Animations is an animator in the OSC, best known for making object invasion in the Daily Object Show. Another thing he is known for is Fusion's Basics in Animation, an animation tutorial series he made starting in 2018 and ending in 2020. However, this is not the first time he made a tutorial, as in 2017, a year before FBIA started, Fusion made a bounce-back tutorial using his character, Skittle. 
The video was eventually removed from Fusion's channel after he started at BI8. The result, not a single bit of footage which has resurfaced of the tutorial. The only thing that proves its existence is the screenshot in the first FBI A video. In my last video about object show lost media, I received a comment by a user named How Do I Pick a Name. In the comment, they talked about an object show that they remember sometime in 2012. Here is what it read. I do have faint memories of a show I found around when I discovered the object show community around 2012 or so. The memories I have of that show were a character named Blanket that was pink and had this weird glitch where her mouth flew off the screen, one called Gear who had no limbs and said I'm feeling dizzy while rolling off screen and one I never saw who was a dog named Venus. The first challenge was to escape a TLC and all I remember of it was some flashlight character who tried to avoid falling in but was stopped due to the lid slamming shut. During the challenge, the last SKP from each team would be eliminated. I think only one was supposed to be eliminated, but the host, who I forgot, said the other team would lose a member to make it fair or something. Aside from there being 33 contestants, that's about all I can remember. Do you guys happen to know what this can be? Object Sago was an object show created in 2018 by Jello Tin Donut, best known for creating the object show Iceberg. This show would get about two episodes before Jello would title the episodes as Oh God Help Me and Unless Them, but there was an older iteration of this show made in 2017. It had the same characters, although the cast was 18 contestants instead of 22, like it was in the reboot. The original only had one episode, albeit pretty rushed, and the challenge was to find an amethyst. I can't seem to find a single bit of media of this episode. I remember there being four intros that came of it, three of which I have said, but the fourth one, which was the one used in the episode, is still lost. This is a pretty unusual case we have here. To the North was a show made possibly in early January 2015. The confirmed date has been lost to time. Another that is unknown regarding to the North is that its creator is a mysterious user, it just says that it was made by a user named TTN official. Oh wait, it's Cryantix, never mind. About the episodes by the way, there are only three of them that are still left online, re-uploaded by Harry Potter, those being episodes 4, 13 and 14. The rest of the episodes, how many there were, are currently lost. Battle for the number 9 was created by Dottie C. Swift sometime around 2020 to 2021. There isn't much information out there regarding this show, which shouldn't be too surprising considering that it was obscure, like very obscure, in one of the screenshots available. It shows that one of the episodes got just 11 views in 4 months. Oh and speaking of screenshots, there are quite a few of them, and it looks like the show used Paper Puppets, similar to Paper Puppets Season 1. It also states that there was a second season, that came out of Battle for the Number 9, named Battle for the Number 9 again. Dottie C. Swift's channel has since been deleted and these screenshots are the only proof that it existed at all. And considering that there were like 5 people that watched this show, it's very unlikely that it will ever see the light of day again. Paper Puppets Take 2 is the second season of the Paper Puppets series, made by user Yellow Andrew. However, there was actually another version of the season made slightly earlier than the version we know today. In this version, the show still uses paper cutouts, like in season 1, and it includes some characters which aren't in the final version. Yellow would actually mention this iteration of PPT2 in a live stream they did a while ago, stating that it was scrapped because they didn't like it. What do people mean by the original Paper Puppets Take 2? There was an original season 2, but I scrapped it because it was really bad. I didn't like it. That's why it's called Take 2. Because it's, it's a reboot of the second season that I originally made. And also because it's season 2, so. This episode was briefly archived by the Object Show Archive, but just like the Objects Act C episodes, he took the archive down, so it is yet to be re-uploaded a second time. But how did I not have any idea about this? Before we move on with the video, I wanted to say that if you are enjoying the video so far then you should subscribe and why not like the video while you're at it. It would be nice and would give me the motivation to make more of these commentary videos and if you don't really want to, that's fine too. Just enjoy the video and that's all that matters.
Infection was going to be a show made by Zany Leaps, best known for making object overload, as well as other things. It seems like this show would have had an apocalyptic theme where a virus was loose and the main characters had to try to survive but the show was cancelled before an episode could be released. The only remnants we have of infection are some images on Zany's deviant art and most of the intro discovered on a reaction video by Andy Fang, the same by who had EEE's deleted scene for years. However, the intro isn't available in full quality for now. This is kinda similar to High Van's truck entries from the last video. Taylor Grodin used to be a prominent OSC member who was a key crew member of Inanimate Insanity for over 10 years. In 2019, he would participate in the fifth season of Zane Leaves' his Camp, Troc as Red Cream Soda. But in 2022, Taylor Grodin would get into a controversy which I'm pretty sure you have heard about. So because of this, he left the internet and took down all of the content on his YouTube channel, including his camp entries. There were 12 entries made for Talk 5, and about 11 of them have been archived by Object Redemption Fan 67. But there's one more entry still left to be found. Program Zone was a competition show created by Mapmaker42, now known as Faulty2 on May 6, 2013. From what we know, the characters were all computer programs, plus the name Program Zone, and the hosts were green speaker boxes. The show was eventually taken away from the public eye, and no proper episodes have been found so far. Although, we do have plenty of screenshots. There are also some reanimations of the episodes, posted by Cyanified, and there is actual footage of Program Zone available right now, in a video titled The Elimination Song Collection which also contains the only public footage of Object Island, there are two very short clips of the show. But other than this, there is no official footage of Program Zone's episodes, well, for now anyway. Object Show, and yes, that is the actual name of this show, was created by Zoho and serves as the predecessor of her current show, Into the Canvas. The first and only episode of this series was released on March 21, 2020, and was cancelled a while after its release. Zojo unlisted that episode of Object Show when it was cancelled and saved it on a playlist on her channel, but that playlist became private, and all the contents of it, including Object Show, became private too, and bus lost. The episode was re-uploaded at one point with the original description, but it was seemingly removed. But then in August 2023, local archivist archived the episode again, and it's still up on YouTube as well as other content regarding the show. So, this show is now found. Battle for the Remains of South Park Face was a show created by Caleb Tfua sometime in mid-2021. Its intro was pretty popular apparently with a couple people making styled intros with their own characters. I remember this show being pretty unusual and had pretty interesting characters or something. It had three episodes before it was cancelled and the episodes were deleted sometime later. None of these three episodes have since been re-uploaded. This is because Caleb would make a now deleted video talking about this show and told the viewers that he doesn't want a show to be online, so we may never see the episodes of the show in the mainstream. Cynical Smackdown was going to be a competition show by Snowflame, or back then known as Substance Animations, in 2019. However, it seems like the show got cancelled even before one episode was finished, as we only got two intros regarding this show, after which Snowflame would leave YouTube, while the second intro, by Jordan the One, is still available to watch in full definition. There was an older version made by Lego Boy and Jay, or Shallot Hair, as to what he's known by today. In this intro the show is called by its beta name Entity Mania. The intro would be archived by Kratribs, but that eventually got taken down in the only place where the full intro can be watched right now is a recording of this re-upload. Which is in pretty bad quality, it's just rave DJ mashups of this intro other than this. Will this intro ever resurface? Only time will tell. Hey guys, Future Colorado Vista here, I came here to say that Crate's re-upload isn't entirely taken down, it is just unlisted. I was not aware of this when I wrote this part. It's a shame the show got cancelled by the way, I was pretty excited for it, but who knows, maybe one day, we may have hope. 
Oh and speaking of Charlotte Hare, there is a piece of lost media from him too. Charlotte Hare's Object Show. Object Terror is infamous for its graphic imagery and edginess, but this is not about any of that. But rather, about a milestone video he made. When Charlotte Hare reached 3000 subscribers, he posted a video which was something I was into back then. Don't judge me. This skit involved his OC. While it going around and killing everyone with bass hunters I can walk on water playing in the background. The video ended with Wallet getting hit by a truck. Oh yeah, and the video had no color. The video was eventually removed, and nothing has come out of it since. Literally, no images, no footage, it's completely erased from history. Oh wait. There is a conversation in the OSC Discord server about this video, and it includes the link of it. But don't get too excited because there is no archive of this on the Wayback Machine. So, it's just lost to time. This is pretty weird. Gamer World was a show made by the Hopkinses on January 27, 2013. According to a comment I received on my last video, all of the characters were gaming consoles, and they talked using text-to-speech. There is virtually nothing left of this show, but more on that right now. Blank Man would re-upload episode 5, but took it down, and left a comment on one of TOSA's videos to tell him, apparently, the reason the video had to be deleted slash privated is, because the Object Show Archive told them that the Hopkinses doesn't want the show online, so, I guess it's not resurfacing anytime soon. However, there is a video by Cyanified showing a one-second clip of what could be Gamer World, as it has a console, as a character, and a TTS voice. But it's not confirmed if this is Gamer World or not. Object Realm is a show I personally remember seeing sometime around 2017. I'm pretty sure there was not a single episode that came from it, there were only two intros, neither of which I can find today. There are only three characters I remember from the intros, those being Cowboy, Dodgeball and Novel. I also recall there being a Christmas tree, and I believe they were the host of Object Realm. The final thing I remember about its media is that the second intro used a Tobu song, but I'm not sure what exactly the song was, or if it was even a Tobu song. Unfortunately, I can't find any evidence of this show's existence. Maybe one of you watching can help me find it? Let me know if you have any information about this. So I could then feature 20 pieces of lost media to talk about this time, so instead I'm going to give updates about the entries I mentioned last time. To start off, 7 more episodes of Objects Fighting for Volcano Island were uploaded by Cyanified, the episodes being 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 13 and 16. In the comments of my previous video, Wolfman Dude 3000 gave a bunch of information on Island of Mayhem, including that the prize was a restaurant, and how there was a mean character named Musical Note etc. Similar thing with objects. Someone commented that one of the challenges of the show was to survive a black hole or something. And finally, remember the two personal pieces of lost media I featured last time, a show called Object Original, and a video related to Match and Freeze Mart? Well, I have since found both of these, the Match one I found just shortly after uploading the video, when I searched up what I remembered of the title, and it showed the video to me. Turns out it was never deleted in the first place, so that's on me. And the Object Original one is more recent, when someone named Local Archivist messaged me on Discord sending me three of the episodes, the intro as well as other media from the show via Google Drive. He also posted the episodes on YouTube, so thanks to him, and that's all from me. Oh wait, I almost forgot. So, since this script is very old, I apologize for saying that at least five times, but because of its age, some things in here were outdated, so here are some corrections from the video. So, first, the first episode of 66 Stories is actually recovered by Cyanified. One scene of the original Object Saga and the episode's intro have actually been re-uploaded by the Object Show Archive. Six programs own episodes were archived by the graveyard of the YouTube and an intro of Object Realm is actually still here with us, being saved in a compilation video of 2017 intros. So, now we are officially done.